All right, if you wanna make more money as an insurance agent and you wanna understand the numbers behind making 400K, then keep watching this video, all right? We just had a recent YouTube comment. Someone said, how would I make $400,000 as a life insurance agent? So I'm gonna walk you through this. I've done videos on 100K. I've done videos on a million bucks. I don't think I've ever addressed $400,000, which is a good amount of money, okay? 400K is $8,000 per week. That's 50 weeks. I'm giving you two weeks vacation. Okay, so how would you do that? Well, the first thing you need to think about is, yes, it's $8,000 per week, but what is your average, I would say, what is your average commission per sale, all right? I want you to think through what is your average commission per sale? I'm gonna use, there's a lot of different life insurance products, all right? So I'm gonna use something, I'm gonna use a thousand bucks for simplicity, okay? And for a lot of people that may be high, some people that may be low, okay? I'm gonna use for general math sakes, keep it really simple. I'm gonna use a thousand bucks per sale, okay? And I'm gonna keep it very, very simple, all right? So if you take 400,000 divided by a thousand dollars, all right, you need 400 policies. Now this doesn't account for uh, people not paying their first payment or chargeback or canceling later. But again, we're gonna keep it very simple and then you can do the math and, and add some of these extra things in later. So 400,000 divided by 1,000 commission per policy, that's 400 policies. 400 policies divided by 50 weeks is eight apps per week. Now again, I'm gonna be very conservative and say that you need 16 sits per week to get eight cells, all right? That's extremely conservative because that's a 50% close rate. And that doesn't even count for the fact that some, maybe a double cell or a couple cell, or you know, you get maybe get three or four apps out of a home. We're just gonna assume that you close half and that you only get one. Ultra conservative, most, mo most salespeople are doing a little better than this, okay? But in this example, 16 sets, eight cells. How many, how many people do you need to sit with? Uh, how many people do you need to set appointments with to get that many sets? Well, to be conservative, typically about two thirds, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use 60%. If, 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 if 60% actually keep the appointment, then you need about 27 appointments, 26 and two thirds per week. So then you've got to figure out, well, how can I set 27 appointments per week? And I want you to wrap your mind around that. Sort of think about that and how you believe that you could set 27 appointments per week. Because if the math is, in this example, I need to set 27, I need to sit with 16 to sell eight to do this, then how do you get to this number? Okay, so let's just say that you, out of every 27 appointments that you set, half the people you talk to book an appointment, okay? And I think that's very conservative as well, okay? So in that case, you need to speak to 54 people, okay? And let's just say that you get a hold of about, you get a hold of about 60% of those individuals, okay? And I'm using crazy conservative numbers. These are not real, okay? They're not, they're, they're, but you need, you need 90, dials per week of a combination of new and aged leads, okay? If you can get all 90 from new leads, more power to you. But in this example, with ultra conservative numbers to equal 400K, you would need 90 dials, or, or, or maybe, maybe, but maybe this is leads, because maybe you have to dial more than once, okay? Because 60% is not gonna be the immediate answer rate, but maybe after, three dials, maybe you do get a 60% answer rate, okay? And you talk to that many people. Sometimes you can talk to more, okay? So that's why I feel like I'm being ultra conservative. Speak to 54, set 27 appointments, sit with 16 and sell eight, okay? Eight times 1,000 is 8,000 bucks. 8,000 equals 400K per week, all right? Now, the things that this doesn't account for that you need to think through really quick, okay? The things you need to think through is yes, we know the numbers of what you need to do, okay? Maybe you need about 90 leads to call on. Now again, they don't all have to be brand new every single week. You, you, you could say, well, I need about 50 leads a week, 60 leads a week, whatever, and I can continue to repeat those calls. Because let's just say you had 50 leads one week, 50 leads the next week, 50 leads, 50 leads, just say five weeks in a row. Well, even if you're closing, let's just call it Let's just say you're, you're booking appointments with, let's call it a third. Well, let's just call it a quarter, okay? That means 50, you can't set anymore. But even if they sold, said no before, you could, so, so you still have 200 leads that you can call. 
okay, continuously over the course of the next several weeks. So that's where, that's where the main things to think about, okay, the main things to think about is, yes, yes, you need to do the math so that you can actually know your numbers, but the things that, the, 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 the things that hurt people is they typically don't buy enough leads because if you don't have enough leads, you're not going to talk to enough in, in, enough people. If you don't talk to enough people, you're not going to set enough appointments. You don't set enough appointments, you're not going to sit with enough people. You don't sit with enough people, you're not going to make enough sales. You don't make enough sales, you're going to make enough money, right? So you don't, most people don't buy enough leads. And the third step after buying enough leads is that most people aren't consistent with, with several things. When I'm talking about consistency, I'm talking about consistency in actual marketing, right? I need leads every single week and I need to be consistent about it or it's never gonna work, okay? So marketing, I need to be consistent. With the amount of money I spend, I need to be consistent with it. I, I, can't, I can't buy what leads one week, buy lead, leads three weeks later, and expect to have consistent results. It's impossible, it doesn't work. That's the recipe for disaster and why 92% of interest agents fail, okay? The next thing is, you gotta be consistent about your schedule. You gotta be consistent about the time that you put in. You gotta be consistent about the dials. You gotta be consistent about your, your, your script. You gotta be consistent. If you have an appointment setter, you gotta be consistent with your appointment setter. You need to think through. This is the main things that can hurt people. Everyone can do this. Everyone can do this at least once. Most agents never do this. Okay, they are not consistent enough over the course of a long period of time. And when you're trying to hit 400K like this, the key is long obedience in the same direction, which is consistency. Because 400K, even though it sounds like a ton of money over the course of a whole year, it's only $100,000 per quarter. It's only, let's just do the math and say it's only $35,000 per month. Okay, or it's about $8,000 per week. And workday wise, okay, or, or, or just over that, right? It's literally about, it's about 11, uh, we'll round up and call it $1,200 per day, right? When you start doing the math and you break it down like this, it doesn't seem as big and as complex. Anyone can make 400K. If they do the math, they, they have enough marketing and they're consistent about it week in and week out. I was a new agent not too long ago. I started as an intern, calling out a phone book before I knew you're not even really supposed to be doing that. I feel like I get and understand new struggling insurance agents. Most people in our business are not the dude making seven figures, rolling in it and traveling the world. Yep. Most of the people in our industry are struggling. Some even have part-time jobs. I want to be the guy that they can go to, to to really learn some knowledge and really help them. I was very fortunate to earn $117,361.13 in my first eight months. And I thought, if I can do that, working for one company, selling one product, I can probably help some other people too. What is up? Welcome to Phone Phenom. If you love this, I got a video you have to watch. It's how to, life, how to sell life insurance. It's amazing and it's right there. See you there. They say life insurance is the hardest product to sell in the insurance industry. If you think so, I can make it real easy if you keep watching this video, all right? So I'm gonna teach you how to sell life insurance. My name's Cody Askins. 